a lot of talented people are kept in the shadows because of this now. Hi, and like I said, my name is Gul Khan and I am a money mindset expert. And I help entrepreneurs like yourselves to break free from limiting beliefs, to reverse your money shame and to blast through your money blocks so that you can live a life of unlimited abundance. And today I'm actually going to discuss something in depth on why it is that you're unable to set bigger, bolder financial goals. Now, like I said before, this has got nothing to do with your ability of actually providing a service or product. It's, not, it's got nothing to do with your ability to actually market it, your, your knowledge of marketing skills. It has nothing to do with actually getting the new fad, you know, the Instagram store, like that now is Instagram IGTV, you know, the TV. It's got nothing to do with actually buying the next shiny object, okay? It has nothing to do with your lack of skills. It's, you can have all the skills under the sun. You can actually go and train up and blogging. Go and le learn about YouTube. Go and learn about uh, Facebook Lives and Facebook and uh, Facebook um, uh, Facebook ad uh, Facebook ads and Google ads. Unless you address this one particular thing, this this one particular thing I'm going to talk about today, you will be stuck in the same cycle of, of actually trying to achieve but never arriving. Okay, trying to make this new financial goal and never actually getting there. So what is it? And I'm here to tell you, it's something more deeper. It's actually to do with something which I call the vow of invisibility. That is something that's so, so crucial. So let's address this, and this is quite important. When you set yourself these larger financial goals, or any goals for that matter, okay, you have to take bigger, bolder actions, right? Okay, that's a prerequisite. Everyone understands that, right? You have to take bigger, bolder actions. Now, in order for you to take bigger, bolder actions, you have to present yourself more. You have to present yourself to the public. You have to show yourself up. You actually have to turn up and do the work, right? Right? Okay. Now, if you actually look at the, the, the there was a research done recently. The number one uh, fear factor that people have is actually not death. It's actually public speaking. Now, a lot of people, you know, frown upon that thinking, how is that possible and so forth. And I'm here to tell you there's a deeper reason for that. There's a reason why the number one fear that people have is public speaking. Now, it's, it's true that you can go and get training on there and you can be a better public speaker. But I'm here to tell you, even if you do have the skills to become a public speaker, if you don't deal with this one thing, you will self-sabotage all the time. This one thing is actually breaking the vow of invisibility. Okay? You need to be seen, you need to be heard, you need to be able to do both those things for you to be able to actually make your goal, to achieve your goal, to actually conquer your goal. Without it, you cannot do it. It's not possible. Okay, You have to be seen, you have to be heard. Now, in order for you to be seen, in, in order for you to be heard, you have to speak, right? You have to show up. Right now, it's not because you don't want to turn up. So I want to take this away from you. I will need to stop this blaming game that, okay, I should go and do more Facebook lives. I should go and do X, Y, Z more. I should go and uh, maybe send more CVs out to, the, to, you know, whatever new job they want to get. I should be, you know, putting out videos on YouTube and I should be doing more, uh, more Instagram um, posts and stories and so forth. Stop, 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 stop for a moment. Just hold on. Okay. Yes, those are all skills and yes, 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 you can do all of that. But you know what? You can take one platform, either Facebook or Instagram or something and actually excel in that and actually making lots and lots of money. So that is not the issue. The issue is not here that, you know, that you don't have the skills or you don't have the know-how or you don't have the tools, especially in this day and age, the tools available for you to market yourself. There's an ingrow, ingrained, um, deeper problem that you have and which is actually your internal beliefs, your internal um, self-sabotage which comes up to actually protect you. Let me say this again. The things you think are causing you self-sabotage is actually your internal subconscious mind coming out, taking actions to protect you because it thinks it needs to protect itself. Why is that? Okay. And so this is where this is the, uh, the the gist of today's training, and I want you to listen very carefully. This is something that my best stuff, and I haven't covered this before. And I thought, okay, where where can I cover this best? And I thought the best place for me to cover this is actually to come and share this with you guys here. So let's get started. So what is it that this uh, that I'm talking about? So which is really really important. Okay, what can this inbound visibility do? So the vow visibility, if you take if you've taken this um subconscious vow of invisibility, it will absolutely stop you in your tracks. It will keep you small. It will keep you hidden, and it will keep make sure that you you remain insignificant okay on purpose not because it's your, your subconscious mind wants to you know be against you and then wants to torture you and wants to ruin your life it's actually the opposite it's trying to protect you let me repeat that your subconscious mind is attempting to keep you protected by keeping you small because it thinks if you stay small you remain safe see how powerful this is see how powerful it is yeah um so, so, is it, Yes, it is self-sabotage is a hindrance, but this is not 
it that's the that's the that's the result of what happens like, you know you, you think yourself uh, you are causing yourself self sabotage but the reason for it is actually self preservation okay so your subconscious mind yes it does do it makes um, it, it makes you take actions which cause self sabotage but it's in order for the, the so that you can you know um preserve yourself it's for self preservation okay self sabotage always always happens when your subconscious mind is doing self preservation it's such a powerful statement and i want you to remember that point okay stop blaming your subconscious mind also it's doing things to protect you not to actually cause you pain it does cause you pain of course it does but it's not doing it for that it's trying to keep you safe this will happen it will stop it. when you have this um about invisibility it will stop you from attaining your goals it will stop you from taking bigger bolder actions it will cause an internal inner conflict with you when you offering your value when you want want to market yourself for, your, for higher prices when you want to charge higher rate when you said want to set healthy boundaries especially especially when you marketing yourself when you want to go when you want to set more bigger financial goals be it whatever feel doing if you're in even if you're in a job even, even if you're an online entrepreneur even if you're a, a, a you know trying to set up do a startup whatever you are whatever capacity you're in you have to be bigger you have to take bigger bolder actions for that you need to market yourself more okay and all of these in all of these uh, situations you will actually um you will actually cause air self sabotage because of your in, internal uh, self will keep you small so instead of owning your attributes instead of owning yourself instead of owning your skills instead of owning your speciality and expertise this vow will keep your true self invisible okay the true i you know the true you will be kept hidden will be kept hidden away so that people cannot see you okay and you try to be someone else you try to be someone who's more appropriate you try to be someone more acceptable you try to be someone who's more modest you try to be someone who's more self sacrificing something that you think that these people around you your family members your friends your parents your teachers everybody else expects you to be and they feel you will be um so that you know they want you to be and they need you to be and then you conform to those ideologies to make sure that you conform and you stay acceptable to them okay that's what it does this is what uh, this this is the result of it okay this is what happens so what causes you to take these vow visibility remember these these are taken uh, i haven't actually mentioned this so most of your subconscious programming is done between the ages of 0 to 7 okay let me repeat that majority and that's 80% of your subconscious programming is done between the ages of 0 to 7 by your primary caregivers okay and and uh, some of it is actually changed when you're in your adolescent years and then of, of course if, if a traumatic event occur later on in your life they will have an impact also and you can change this but you have to actively change it yourself this will if you leave it status status quo you can't this is why majority of the people they read these self help books these uh, or and do all these self help uh, you know programs and uh, so called actually remain stuck they don't achieve anything they can read 100 books and still be stuck where they are okay so that's why that's one of the reasons what happens so why do you take these um, you know why do you take this uh, uh, this vow of visibility what makes you to it there's a reason for it okay there's two reasons either at times you've taken this up because there's your physical safety your actually physical safety is has been at stake so you've you've learned that if you become invisible if you become small if you become hidden you remain secure so that's either because you've been in a situation where um you've been physically abused you've been sexually abused or you were bullied at school or at home or in any of some of the else okay so when you when you actually feel the physical safety is at stake you would actually keep yourself small okay that's one thing and you will try to remain you know in the background away from everything the second type is a, is a, is the reason for having a low profile is it's help to keep you off the radar okay um so it it helps you to remain small so the people so not only the person who's you you think is you're afraid of will attack you you also keep away from everybody else so no, nobody else sees you so therefore you're not open to criticism you're not open to people criticizing who you are what you believe what you do and you as a person you remain you sort of blend into the background there's not only physical danger it's also something else which is more inherent and that's the emotional psychological danger okay so physical danger is one thing where you you should fear physical um safety of the this person who's attacking you first also you think if he's attacking or she she is attacking other people may attack me also then you can remain small the other one is emotional psychological danger okay and this is more powerful and this is more prevalent and this is actually plays a major role in majority of my clients that I see more than actually the physical danger okay so the physical emotional danger is where there's you there's a perceived danger in the form of a criticism in the form of negativity from others okay 
is that if, you, if somebody finds out what your true desires are, if somebody finds out what your true talents and feelings are, they will reject you. They will no longer accept you. And that is what you fear, okay? If it, you try to be the kind of person that gets noticed less so that you're safer, you make safer choices. You have a persona that can limit, you know, you know that so people don't give their attention to you. You don't, you sort of deflect the attention. You're like, no, no, it's okay. I, I'd rather not be in the limelight. I'd rather stay away. I'm okay in the background. I'm okay, I'm okay, okay. And that way, you remain, uh, you know, you avoid people's criticizing a criticism. You rem- you avoid people, you know, picking at you. You, you avoid people making um, assumptions about you. You try to remain hidden, okay? Your true self is hidden, and you try to live up to other people's expectations. And this becomes a habit. It becomes, as, as I call it, a vow that you take to remain small, remain conform to the normality of what you perceive as normality, or conform to the kind of person that you think the society wants you to be, they need you to be, and therefore you and she never true, uh, show your true self. And therefore you always remain hidden. And if you always remain hidden, you can never show your talents. You can never actually bring out your talents because for you to do that. First of all, for anybody who comes on the, on the on the on the international platform or on the on the world stage or in, in front of limelight, you have to show who you really are. Because uh, honestly, uh, you know, um, you, there's only there's only so so much time that you can keep up um, charades of, of, of pretending to be someone else. So when you all your real self comes up, people you you, you fear that people will reject that person. They, you fear that people will no longer accept it, and especially when it comes to family, friends and family, because. Remember, we are tribal by nature. We want to conform to how our family and our friends accept us. We want to be part of a community. We want to be part of a society where we are accepted and loved and appreciated, not rejected. Remember in tribal areas. So if you think of the caveman ages, we are designed to make sure that we conform to this, this society, society rules so that we remain safe. Because it's it's it's, uh, it's something that you know your subconscious mind is trained to do. It has to do. Otherwise, if your tribe rejected you, you'll be out with the with the with the bears, and God forbid, you know, you'll be eaten alive with the lions and the bears. So that is where this this ingrained um, uh, you know need to be part of a tribe, to be part of society, to be part of this internal group, and not be rejected by them. Now the downside of this is, if you remain in this in the state, you never get to perform, you never get to shine, you never get to be who you really are. Okay, and this is one of the, the, the biggest problems. Now, when it comes to how this, uh, you know, how this invis- this vow visibility was taken, it affects your actions, it affects your confidence, it it's um, and it will definitely affect you when you really want to go for the bigger and the bolder of goals. Now, a lot of people come to me and they you know, they want to set bigger bold. I mean, they're even afraid to set bigger bolder goals. No, if I had made too much money, what will people? Think? Okay, that's another thing. They don't. A lot of them don't say it outright. But no, that's exactly the point. Is if I'm if I start making twenty thousand, thirty thousand, hundred thousand a month, oh my God, what will people think? And I'm here to tell you, people don't give a damn. Honestly, they don't. Okay, if they'll be like, oh, how is she or you making it money? Okay, let me find out. Legitimately, of course. Okay, but I had this, and I thought, oh my God, because none of my family members, oh, not many of them, actually make about above a certain amount. But now, if I start making it, and I am I am making it now. If I start making above certain thing. Um, they will think I'm, you know, maybe I'm doing something illegal. Maybe I'm doing something immoral. You know, you do these sub, these ridiculous notions come to your mind, but they stop you from moving forward because your subconscious mind is designed to make sure that you remain safe. And being part of this community, being part of this tribe, it keeps you safe. When you're faced with new challenges and opportunities, you will suddenly. So how does it stop you? When you're faced with new challenges and new opportunities, where you have to take, you know, when you, when you start taking up, thinking of, of taking a bigger, bolder actions. And this is where procrastination comes in, okay? So this is very key, this is key. So when you start thinking, start to take and think about taking bigger, bolder actions, when you have to become more visible, you, this extreme fear, this extreme anxiety takes over. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, well, you know, how, you know, it, how, you know, how would so-and-so react? And how would so-and-so, and these illogical, illogical thoughts pop into your head, okay? But they will keep you back. And when you speak about yourself, okay, or your value or your goal with confidence, you you even imagine yourself speaking that you, this imposter syndrome comes up. Okay, so I hear this all the time where people feel and are stopped by this imposter syndrome. This is the cause because you think if I come out and say I'm very good at this or, or own up my talents, people will think I'm arrogant. Now I I boldly say I am the best money mindset expert that I know. I'm damn good at what I do because I combine psychology with uh, with neuroscience and especially energy tool. I'm a damn I'm damn good at my job. I don't pretend to be anything else, but I'm damn good at making sure that you can get money. And my clients, you know, give me testimonies for that. 
but I have no issues saying that now. Initially, I was like, yes, no, no, yes. You, I, I, I've suffered from this also, and I had to break free. I had to break free from the old goal to become who I am now, and I'm still in the transition pe- uh, period. I'm still, uh, you know, be- I'm becoming. I'm still transforming, and I can own that. That I'm still transforming and becoming. I'm trying to be who I really am in terms of how I, how I am, how I present myself, how I dress, how I appear, how I appear in public because i'm still learning to be who i am I, because i for many many years regardless of my education i conformed to the society rules i conformed to what my family expected me to be and i did all the thing i ticked all the boxes so i'm i'm speaking to you because i've been there i've done that so what happens so when you do take these actions okay now what's the problem so how does your subconscious mind stop you so when you do take actions okay remember your subconscious mind is more powerful than your conscious mind it controls 98 percent of the actions so when you are about to take this new bigger bolder action your subconscious mind triggers off these and these no these neurons and these chemicals are released and it just hinders you in the spot it makes you feel so nervous and so anxious and so uncomfortable that you actually come up with logical reasons for not to take certain action or you cre- it creates a type of inertia of procrastination where you just sit around thinking hmm i need to do certain thing but i'm not doing it have you ever done that you blamed oh i can't do this because i just procrastinate all the time procrastination is just your subconscious mind telling you there's something there there's an emotional block that you need to get rid of let me repeat that procrastination is nothing more than a sign a signal from your subconscious mind telling you there's an emotional block that you need to get rid of before you can achieve x y z goal simple as that okay and this is this this is powerful and this is key and this is what you need to actually keep in mind and think about okay so this will not only impact in your professional life, it will also impact in your personal life. Keep this in mind. This vow will not only impact your personal uh, professional life, but it will also impact in, per, in your personal life. So this will, and this is the main reason, let me repeat it, this is the main reason why many, many talented people are kept in the hit, are kept hidden and are kept in the shadows. And, and a lot of, and not very talented people actually come to the forefront and come to the some service and everybody seems to you know, fall in love with them because of the confidence they display, okay? A lot of talented people are kept in the shadows because of this vow, okay? And warning, by the way, when you have this vow, other people will overlook you. So there's many talented people. Now, we, me and my daughter were watching uh, X Factor. I know X Factor or, or Americans Got Talent. It was America. My, my daughter loves to watch Americans Got Talent on, on, um, on Netflix. So we were watching America and America Got Talent. And there's, there's a gentleman that came on. on. No, there's a there's well, first of all this mother came on she's about 39 and oh my god she had the voice of an angel she really had a voice of an angel okay and simon actually asked him how the hell are you in, have, have you been here and you're 39 years old no one's discussed discovered you why is it and that's not one that's not one example there are many like that people keep hidden and for them to take a certain action takes a lot out of them okay because even if you have the talent if you have this round visibility if you are if you if you're trying to keep yourself small well you what will happen is People will overlook you too as well. Uh, people will not see you or they look through you, they overlook you because they, they're adhering to your uh, visibility. You know, your, your subconscious mind is giving you what you, what you need, not what you want. It's thinking that you need to remain small so it actually makes you invisible so people don't see you. They overlook you for opportunities. And this will happen a lot at uh, workplaces. People, you will be overlooked for opportunities, you will be overlooked for promotions. And uh, people, you know, even though you're talented and perfect or a particular role, you know, somebody, it will be given to somebody else, okay, who is able to display confidence, who is able to display, you know, be able to go and showcase themselves and who, are, who doesn't have a vow as strong as yours or has broken through the vow either consciously or subconsciously okay this vow is so profound it it influences how you present yourself to everyone because it's reflected in a confidence or lack thereof once you break this vow people you get seen and i'm a prime example okay so i've done this for myself so compare myself from last year to year i actually sat down and broke this vow i did no extra training I just broke this vow and my skills that I already have as a public speaker, I'm a, I'm a trained public speaker because I'm a barrister with Middle Temple. I actually, because I am a, bar- I'm a lawyer, I'm trained to public speak, I was able to use my, my skills beforehand. But I couldn't do it until I broke the vow of visibility. I had to break this vow of visibility myself. I did it last year in between. If you see the transition of my, from, from I think October last year till now, there's a huge difference. I've exploded on the international platform and it's unbelievable, you know, people, the comments I get from people in terms of my growth because it, I didn't actually, and I didn't actually go and acquire more public speaking skills. I need to learn how to speak. I didn't go and learn how to do you know, about energy tools and so forth. I didn't learn about my craft. I know this back to front. It's my, it's my work, it's my passion. I know back to front. I just had to break this bound visibility and that's why it's so, so powerful. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you. Bye.